moving to your crime watch this morning. A man on the run now back behind bars in Odessa. The recapture happening hours after police sounded the alarm for an inmate inadvertently released. Here's a look at Paul Lujan, arrested just two weeks ago in connection to a 2009 murder case. Lujan also has confirmed ties to the Mexican mafia. Police scanners scrambling, issuing a hunt for Lujan. U.S. Marshals tell us as of 6 p.m. Thursday, they caught Lujan in Odessa. And local two's Don Log tells us how something like this could happen. Uh, suspect was in custody for murder and was accidentally released from federal custody around 1240 from Hector County. A day-long search for a murder suspect on the run Thursday comes to an end in Odessa. We were able to determine um, that he may be in you know, a particular area of town and uh, that worked out for us. After being, quote, inadvertently released from federal custody around noon from the Ector County Courthouse, U.S. Marshal Brent Sheets says Paul Lujan is back behind bars. Taken into custody without incident and taken to the Ector County Jail. Lujan sent U.S. Marshals and multiple law enforcement agencies on a hunt spanning from Pecos to Midland and back. He was finally arrested around 6 p.m. near the Ector County Courthouse on 3rd and Grant. We had, we had numerous things we were doing today and uh, a lot of different angles. We were working through multiple law enforcement agencies that came together to look for, this, for, look for Mr. Lujan and take him back into custody so he can face the charges uh, from the murder. His release in the first place, making basiners like Gloria Herrera on edge. Released? Seriously? Uh, this is Odessa, Texas. I mean, this isn't New York. But law enforcement ensures all residents. We were following numerous leads throughout the day. Despite a close watch, Herrera still left apprehensive. They need to be more careful. Don Log, Local 2 News. Don, thank you. U.S. Marshal Brent Sheets tells us now that Lujan is behind bars again. He faces the murder charges he was originally arrested for last month. Happening across Texas, three University of Texas at Austin professors suing the university and the state over the new campus carry laws. The three inspectors, instructors rather, are, asked, are asking a federal judge to block the law before it goes into effect on August 1st. You'll remember state's campus carry laws were approved last year. Beginning in August, all public universities must allow licensed con concealed carry holders to have their weapons inside most buildings and classrooms. Intense moments on Capitol Hill Thursday as FBI Director James Comey facing questions over the probe into Hillary Clinton's private email server. That's right, it's still going on. Texas U.S. Representative Will Hurd hammering Comey with questions about why he would call the former Secretary of State's email use extremely careless, but then not recommend charges. On foreign policy and national security, had a server in her basement that had information that was collected from our most sensitive assets and it was not protected by anyone, and that's not a crime? Meanwhile, U.S. Senator John Cornyn also releasing a statement on Clinton's email saying, in part, Excuse me. When individuals mishandle our country's most sensitive information, they jeopardize national security and shouldn't be trusted with such an important responsibility. Closer to home, if you have friends or family visiting you in West Texas, have you ever questioned the cleanliness and safety of the hotel you or your family's checking into? Well, hotels in the basin say safety and cleanliness top priorities. So when it comes to inspections, they pass with flying colors. The Doubletree Hotel down in downtown Midland, ahead of the inspection game. They employ a third-party company to check all the zones in the building. Every six months, a full inspection takes place. As far as city inspections, the, city, the health department takes care of the pools, and the fire department covers kitchen inspections, fire lanes, and other safety aspects. Inspectors like to hit the hotels annually. We look at the sprinkler system and the fire alarm system to make sure that they're uh, within their uh, inspection dates. Now some good news for guests in the tall city. We're told hotel inspection reports often come out spotless. And coming up in the next half hour, we'll have this full special assignment. In Odessa, protesters of the duck and geese euthanization held their second day of protest Thursday night. We're told they didn't see as many people as Wednesday, but about 20 did show up. 
One family now willing to adopt some of the ducks and geese who live in Memorial Park Gardens in Odessa, the ones that were set to be euthanized. Once the news broke of these ducks at risk of losing their lives, several protests to save the ducks formed. And Local 2's Tyler Wesner has an update on how some of these animals might survive. Euthanizing them kind of seems a little bit harsh when somebody might be able to take at least a few of them. And that's where Pat Raglan and her family come in as they own a 165-acre ranch in Coke County with a stocked pond housing a dozen ducks already. And I just thought maybe we could cage them up, put them in the back of the truck, and take them down there to live. We have an automatic feeder for them. Raglan tells me they have room for about 10 more ducks and 10 geese at their weekend getaway spot where they plan to move in five years. I would definitely love to have some. I mean, we buy them and we raise them and then put them down there so if I could actually get some that were already fully grown and take them down there I think it would be great for me. In this hot summer heat Raglan says these feathered friends could help with the insects that pop up. They eat bugs, they eat yellow jackets, they eat mosquitoes so it helps us this time of year when all the bugs are crazy. And that's not the only benefit the birds could have on their ranch. Geese are good watchdogs so I think they would be good for the rattlesnakes and stuff down there so we could help them and they could help us. Tyler Westner, Local 2 News. Now, your weather on the tunes. Sponsored by Planet Fitness. The duck and geese saga continues. That's right. It's great to, you know, but we love watching the community come together. Of yeah, course, yeah. not a great situation, but... Well, no, but I mean, that's, hey, that's a really nice, uh, a, a nice compromise for everyone, exactly. I think. Exactly. It's a win-win right there, so, you know, good, good deal there. Hopefully that all works out. Exactly. And hopefully our weather works out. Probably not. John? Unfortunately. <laughs> uh, yeah. Um, Rebecca, can you help? No. Uh, we've still got some more storms out there this morning, but nothing quite as strong as what we saw yesterday. Just.